Welcome to Applied Imagery. We're happy to announce the release of Quick Terrain Modeler version 8.1 with significant enhancements in capability and performance. This is a big release for us. We've added some extremely powerful automatic point cloud classification and feature extraction tools such as building vector extraction and bare earth generation. Also, we introduced texture streaming, automatic GRG creation, and many other useful upgrades. The biggest news in this release is the addition of three new feature extraction and classification tools that build on each other to deliver superior products to end users and production environments alike. These tools are automatic point cloud classification, building vector extraction, and bare earth generation. These tools tap into new algorithms in Quick Terrain Modeler, and you'll find them all in two interfaces, the revised above ground level analyst and the new classification and extraction tool. The AGL Analyst tool has been significantly improved. It now offers a variety of bare earth calculation methodologies, as well as a tabbed interface and more intuitive workflow for removing points based on AGL values, such as vegetation, wires, and buildings, either temporarily or permanently. There is no longer a need to open a second window for point filtering. In this example, a bare earth dem was created from a point cloud using Quick Terrain Modeler's new LiDAR Sense algorithm, showing what the terrain looks like with the above ground features removed. With the new point cloud classification and vector extraction tool, Quick Terrain Modeler can now automatically classify point clouds into four LES classes, low vegetation, ground, buildings, and not classified. The process is very simple. Set your desired grid sampling, decide what products you want, and press go. After some calculations, Quick Terrain Modeler will display the point cloud color by classification, your building roof vectors, building footprint outlines, and the digital terrain and surface models. The building vectors, both footprint and roof line, like all vectors in Quick Terrain Modeler, can easily be edited in 3D and exported to other programs such as Google Earth. Another huge improvement is Quick Terrain Modeler's image streaming capability. Now overlaying textures from large image files will dynamically stream increased image detail to Quick Terrain Modeler without having to manually sharpen the image. This will be most apparent when overlaying large SID files and zooming in. Increasing levels of detail will appear automatically without having to click the resample texture button, much like the experience when zooming in on Google Earth or Maps. Version 8.1 also updates all palette interfaces for height color, AGL analysis, slope analysis, QTA continuous attribute analysis and grid statistics. This will make setting palettes and filtering analytical results faster, more intuitive, simpler, and more effective. The QTA analyst palettes have real-time sliders to change the range of values in the color ramp as well as for real-time filtering. The GRG tool is a new feature that builds upon real-time virtual grid lines. Through a simplified user interface, it quickly adds a simple set of grid lines and labels, yet allows complete customization. Additional grids and footprints can be simultaneously displayed and the entire scene exported quickly, which makes it easy to distribute GRGs as a PowerPoint file, geo-registered image, and Garmin GPS formats. We've been listening to our user input and we're really excited about Quick Terrain Modeler version 8.1 and we think you will be too. If you would like more information, give us a call or send us an email. Thanks for watching.